Hello everybody, I'm Suyash, you're watching Mind, Body, Spirit and we've already talked quite a lot about the law of attraction. We have talked about visualization, about gratitude, about negative thoughts and whether they manifest or not. Uh, we've talked about the different states of mind, particularly the alpha state and the theta state. I've also told you a method with which you can easily reach the theta state and many of you have used it, are regularly using it and are benefiting from it. Uh, but I still keep getting questions about, uh, you know, basically requests that I should make an introductory video about the law of attraction. So apparently, I mean, I'm surprised to see this, but apparently some of you are not really well versed with the law of attraction and would like me to make an introductory video, something where I can introduce the law of attraction to you. So, well, this is that video. If you are new to the law of attraction, this will really help you out. And even if you're an expert at the law of attraction, but still would like to hear my take on it, well, keep watching and let's begin. So what we'll do in this video is we'll talk about three concepts and uh, one by one we'll be covering these concepts and later on we'll realize that law of attraction is actually nothing but the collective culmination or the combination of these three concepts. So let's begin right away. The first concept is that everything has its own vibrational frequency. Now you may not agree with me because uh, not everything is vibrating around us. In fact, nothing is vibrating around us. You will say that Suyash, the laptop or the, the mobile phone that I'm watching this video on, it's not vibrating. My room thankfully is not vibrating. Nothing is vibrating. Well, you are right with our current vision and with our current perception as human beings. We don't see things as, uh, as vibrating. We see things as very solid and very stable. But if we examine something very mundane, let's say the chair that you're sitting on, let us examine your chair under a very powerful microscope. What will happen? What will we see? Will we see that piece of chair really magnified? And is that it? No, we'll in fact see your chair at a subatomic level and it won't be, uh, it won't be something that we'll expect. It will be a lot of vibration, a lot of, we may perceive it as a lot of chaos. It'll be a lot of activity and uh, it'll be vibration. We'll, we'll, the word that may come to our mind after we see that image may be vibration. It may even be energy. And in fact, everything is energy. Everything is energy and that energy is created as a result of vibration or vibratory level at which everything and anything that we may, that we may think and we may experience is existing. And so everything around us, the laptop, the mobile, the table, the chair, the room, the air, the water, the rocks and the oceans and the sand, everything that we can think of, everything is energy and everything has its own unique vibrational frequency. That's the first concept. Everything has its own frequency. The second concept is that like attracts like. Frequencies, if tuned into, will attract towards each other. Let's take a very simple example. Let's, let's take the example of the, the, the single, uh, you know, most common thing that will come to our mind when we think of frequency, it's radio. So let's say I'm driving my car, I'm driving to somewhere and in my car is playing a very sad, a very depressing song. And I don't want that. I want something better in my car. Now we are taking the example of car right now. Later we'll extrapolate this to life, right? So something really sad is playing in my car. I want it to change to something happy. How do I do that? I change the frequency of my radio set. And as soon as I tune it into the frequency of a channel that always plays upbeat, energetic, really nice songs, as soon as I do that, instead of that sad and depressing song, a really happy, a really nice song will start playing. So the second concept is that we can tune into a frequency. And if we do that, anything and everything that is at that frequency will get attracted towards us and we'll be attracting that, right? So the second concept, we can tune and we'll get attracted with respect to the frequency. The third concept is that we can actually change the frequency that we are emitting. As individuals, the frequency that we are emitting, we can actually change that. How do we do that? As I said earlier, everything has its own frequency. That includes our thoughts. The thoughts that we are having at any given point actually has a frequency and we can actually measure a thought. And we have in fact talked a lot about this in my third video, the video at which I have, uh, in which I have explained about the difference states of mind, the alpha state, the theta state. So you should go and watch that video if you want to know about this in detail. So our thoughts have a particular frequency and we can actually change those thoughts and we can change what we are tuning into and we can change what we are attracting. So let's see what the three concepts are and how they culminate together into the law of attraction. Number one, the first concept, everything has its own frequency. That does not only include what we are seeing in the present, you know, what is all around us in our rooms. 
that also includes whatever we are hoping or dreading in our future so if i want to manifest let's say something really happy something that will make me very happy something i really want that will have a much different frequency than something that i don't want something that i'm trying to avoid something that if happens will really make me sad completely different frequency gratitude has a completely different frequency when you compare with the frequency of let's say fear or anxiety happiness has a completely different frequency when you compare it with the frequency of sadness so everything has a different frequency what we are hoping or we are what we are hoping to avoid in our future also has significantly different frequencies so that's how the first concept translates into the law of attraction the second concept is like attracts like we can tune into a particular frequency so if we can change the frequency that we are emitting to that frequency which matches with the frequency of what we are hoping to manifest that will get manifested that will happen radio set you change the frequency the song changes similarly we can do that in our lives and the third concept is actually empowering us it empowers us and it tells us we have the power we have the skill we have the ability to change the frequency at which we are operating at any given moment how do we do that with our thought our thought has a frequency if we can change the thought that frequency will change and as a result what we are manifesting what we are attracting at any given moment will automatically change it's not that simple though thoughts are not simple you know we have already talked about the different types of thoughts again in that very video that i spoke about earlier you can go and watch that it's a very important video i would recommend that you go watch it um, i'll leave a link to that in the description also um, thoughts are a little complex because you know thoughts are on different levels we have a conscious mind we have a subconscious mind we even have a super conscious mind thoughts are subconscious thoughts conscious thoughts so many thoughts um, a good indicator of what actually are uh, what should i say a real thought now that's not a technical or a very impressive term actually i'm just talking to you here no preparation <laughs> so what do i mean by real or i don't know what the opposite of it is a hollow thought maybe uh, what is a hollow thought a hollow thought is a thought that carries no weight with it a thought that carries no feeling with it a thought that doesn't have the power to change what i'm feeling so let's say right now i'm really sad about my my financial position and i'm feeling really miserable oh i'm so poor i cannot afford anything and then all of a sudden i remember that oh but i saw that video on youtube that fellow suyash mind body spirit he said that uh, you know change your thought change your frequency so you change the thing that you are that you are bringing into your life so in that miserable state suddenly i start thinking oh i am a millionaire but i continue to feel miserable and sad that is not really going to do anything you know so actually what matters is what we are feeling feeling is a result of our real thoughts has it ever happened to you that you are feeling sad and you don't really know why you are feeling sad you know it happens with me all the time that i am feeling really happy and i don't know why i am feeling so happy my friends they get really bugged because i am so happy and excited and they ask me what has happened that you are so happy and i can't tell them i don't know so maybe at some at my subconscious level something happened a subconscious thought took place and as a result i am feeling that happy so subconscious thoughts are most powerful conscious thoughts may be powerful may not be powerful so basically a good indicator of what i am actually really thinking right now not those hollow thoughts but the real thoughts what uh, what uh, what what is the quality of those thoughts what exactly are those thoughts carrying a good indicator of that is feeling so i would say that it's not as much as what we are thinking it's what we are feeling that creates that manifesting ability or that manifesting power so basically we can sum up law of attraction as whatever we are feeling at any given point will actually determine what we are bringing into our lives so if we are feeling sad and if we are feeling miserable well it's okay first of all it's you know i don't want to make you even more sad and even more miserable by telling you that you are attracting you know misery into your life it's okay uh, but if you are feeling sad and miserable we may not be attracting the good that we deserve right and if you are feeling happy if you are feeling excited if you are feeling hopeful if you are expecting really good things then we are at, we are in a position to really attract those things so the law of attraction is nothing but being able to feel the feelings of already having what we want to manifest in our lives so if you want to manifest uh, let's say a raise how would you feel once you actually have that raise in your job yeah how would you feel if you are able to feel those feelings already even though you, in the physical uh, you know in the physical reality that is not existing even then if you are able to feel that you will be in a position to attract that 
so law of attraction and the various practices we have talked about gratitude and visualization and writing we haven't talked about writing we, are, we will talk about writing in one of my uh, subsequent videos so when we talk about all of these things basically what these practices do is that they create that feeling within us that's all law of attraction is very simple it's nothing it's simply whatever is whatever we are feeling we are attracting all the other things if you are talking about visualization and gratitude and so many other things uh, we are simply talking about about doing something about using a technique about taking some action with which we can create that feeling in our mind that will create that frequency that will emit that frequency and that frequency once emitted will catch similar things that are in that same range of frequency and that will manifest a bright future for us and that's the law of attraction it's very simple so I guess uh, I guess that's it I didn't make any notes like my last video so I hope I'm not forgetting anything I am pretty sure that I'm not because it's very simple the law of attraction is so simple uh, what I'm planning to do is uh, I actually have a sort of a handbook I think it will be 15 20 pages if uh, made into the PDF format I'm thinking of sharing with you of course it won't be very fast so please don't uh, don't keep asking me where is that handbook because it may take some time but I'm thinking of actually editing it to some extent make it a little more professional uh, you know worthy of being shared with thousands of people over here and I'm thinking of just sharing it with you maybe uploading it somewhere so if you think that's a good idea if you think I should do that please leave a comment so that I know that uh, you would be interested in that because it will take some time for me to really edit that and make that proper so if you would like that please leave a comment below if there are any questions please leave a comment below I'll be happy to answer them I try to answer all the comments on these videos and uh, if this video helped you at all please like this video because that helps the video get uh, more uh, eyeballs and uh, well please subscribe to the channel because I would love to connect with you better if you haven't already I'm sure most of you are already subscribed but if not then please do subscribe and uh, well thank you so much it's been a pleasure talking to you bye bye the notion that maybe it doesn't work has started to really seem absurd to me because of these six things that happened within a time span of three to four days and uh, well I I am really excited to share it with you I'm sure that you will also be super excited at the end of this video in which I'll be telling you six things that happened to you that made my belief in the law of attraction rock solid